Okay, it's 7.55 p.m. and I'm watching this one anomaly up in the sky and you can see my camera is pointed well, I don't know if you can see it, but it's pointed up in this direction and there's nothing here in the sky and we're going to pan over over here and we're going to see so where is it? Yeah, there's there's Venus right there. Okay, I'll move the camera. See Venus? And there's Venus right there in the center. Right. Okay, Venus. Venus. Okay, and we're gonna pan over here, and I'm looking down at this thing. Oh, it moved on us. Just gonna have to adjust the camera a little. But there it is right there. We're watching that and there's nothing in the sky. Let me adjust the camera a little bit more. I gotta put this camera down. I'm using a Sony right now. Oh there it is. Okay. That's the max zoom with the Sony. Okay. Because it's handheld, I really can't get a great shot. But I'm going to zoom out, holding the camera in the same position. See it? We're zooming out, we're zooming out, zooming out. Okay, I'm going to hold the sky map up right exactly where it is. And what do we see? Nothing. Now, once again, we're going to pan over to the left, and see, there's there's Venus right there. Can you see that on the? Okay, there's Venus, and look, there's Venus. Okay, so it is not Venus. Okay, now what we can do too is just to rule out Arcturus. Arcturus is already below the ecliptic. We're going, see that, uh, this line right here, this green line going across the screen? That's the ecliptic, and we're going down here, and we're below the ecliptic right now, and Arcturus is way down there, and as I lift the camera up, there's the ecliptic line, and we're just going to keep panning up and up and up and up and up until we get to our area of the sky where there is nothing, okay? So, okay, now it's set, set a little on here, so I gotta adjust the camera a little. There, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna try to keep readjusting the camera as we go, but I'm just capturing this. And, uh, okay, I'm going to put this camera down and try to monitor it with the camera that's actually recording it, but that proves that it's not Venus or Arcturus or Antares or Jupiter, Mars or Venus. Or Mercury, rather. Okay? Okay. Here we go. See that? Now my camera is pointing up like this. So we're on this kind of angle. And I'm going to show you what we're looking at in this area of the sky. So, maybe I can actually capture it on this camera too.
it's interesting how it changes size. Now I'm not doing anything to the zoom. The zoom is maxed out at 140. So while bigger for us again? Yes, you are. Thank you. The wind is blowing no more than five miles per hour, but that's how little it takes to make the object on the screen move around when the wind does blow. bigger for us again. You are. Thank you.
it decided to get bigger, so we'll just keep going a few more minutes. really decided to show off its colors too. Isn't that beautiful? Right now it's saying, look at me. Look at all the pretty colors I'm changing into. Look how big I am now. The uh, N5D YouTube channel has close to 80,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed to N5D's YouTube channel, do so. So, right now our friends are being televised on YouTube. Also visit n5d.com. Last month we had over 500,000 visitors and we're ranked in the top 40,000 websites on the internet. And we're in the top one half of 1% of all websites on the internet. N5D is updated daily. And if nothing else, just go to the news link. We have an alternative news link 
there where I post everything that's going on in the news that's not being reported by the mainstream media. And that includes UFOs, health stuff, um, crop circles, some astrology stuff, and just a lot of stuff in politics and government that uh, is being suppressed from us. And what we've learned throughout the news is most of the stuff that's being reported is usually hot air and bullshit. And the true story is something that you really need to dig for. And that's what I do is I scrub the internet for the best stories to put on there to show you that you know what we've been taught what we've been taught in school is a lot of state-sponsored propaganda gets bigger and starts doing the whole color thing. <laughs> so we'll just leave it on for a few more minutes. Isn't that beautiful? Outstanding. Thank you, my friends. So like I said, be sure to visit in5d.com to catch more video, pictures, commentary for this UFO, as well as subscribing to the In5D YouTube channel. Apparently our friends approve. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at how big it's getting. Uh, yes, my friends, you will be you will be on YouTube. Thank you. Oh my gosh, look how big it's getting. <laughs> Isn't that great? Wow, fantastic. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, well, once again, I am about to sign off. This is Greg Prescott from N5D.com. And, uh, Boy, this is so mesmerizing, though. I really don't want to sign off yet.
On an interesting side note, the location of this UFO has moved significantly north, which is a blessing because it gives everybody the opportunity to see this UFO for an extended period of time. It's still located in the same area of the sky, just higher up. It's almost as if the ETs want to give everyone a long opportunity to see that we are not alone in this universe. So, as you can see by the pictures, this UFO continues to change colors. And the one I find most interesting is on the right-hand side uh, of the second row from the top, where it looks like an alien face. I'll continue to cover this UFO sighting here on N5D.com, so check back for more updates. That's it for now. This is Greg from N5D.